Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another episode of Bill's Brews. Yes, it's time for us to get together and drink. It's Thirsty Thursday for me. I don't know when you're watching this, but uh, um, hopefully you have a beer. If not, get one. I'll wait. Don't worry. And we'll have a drink together. I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a double dry hopped Melcher Street Indian Pale Ale from Trillium. So again, if you've seen a couple of the most recent episodes, you know Trillium is one of the hottest beer um, beers out there, the brewers. It's uh, Trillium and Treehouse is all the rave now um, as we evolve in our craft beer experiences together. I don't know what you have, but let me know. Drop it in the comments and uh, we'll see. But you know, this is just me. I'm going to share with you what I think it tastes like and we're going to hang out because I obviously have nobody else to drink with and I appreciate you joining me. I got a little choked up. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, here we go. Uh, you can see the pour. I don't know if I mentioned it's 7.2% alcohol. Perfect uh, pour. Come on. Alright. That might have been my fault with the head there a little bit. But uh, you can see it's a nice head. Um, I don't know how well you could see it's cloudy. It's more of a pale. It's not a vibrant orange. It's more of a pale yellowish, yellowish orange. Maybe a little bit of green, but it's very murky. Not murky, but you can't see through it at all. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I think that's a good start right there. I'm double dry hopped. So when it's dry hopped, you get a lot more of the... Uh, the um, uh, what are these called? Hop aroma. <laughs> dry hop, hop aroma. So when you dry hop it, the, the hops sit on it. It's after the, the fermentation stage, or at least very late in the fermentation stage, and you just add hops to the top of um, your beer that's sitting in the carboy, and you know you put it on there forever. Uh, this is double dry hop, so they probably did it twice. I'll usually wait a week and then put hops on top of it. Um, and so you're not putting them in the boil. So you could do it, you know, you can do, um, put it in the carboy as soon as the beer goes into ferment. Once it's fermented, you put the dry hops on top and let it sit longer. Um, and what that really does is give a lot more hop aroma to it. So, you know, you get that. And a lot of times when you just taste anything, your nose does like 90% of the tasting for you. Not for that, be, you know, we're just hanging out, drinking. That is um, quite hoppy uh, for me. I like hop, but this is uh, it's a, the earthy. And you can tell, I didn't even tell you that. I got to the nose. Not my initial, it was more of that earthy, um, dank, wet grass kind of side of things. More, and I, I smell a little bit of citrus when I just smelled it the second time. But more of the, um, you know, you know, and it's very heavily, heavy bitter right from the start, and it lingers on your palate for me. I'm not sure this is one of my favorites. Um, I don't have to like every beer, right? I mean, that would be silly. Um, it is good. I like the. I like the look of it, the head retention staying on there. I do like smelling it, but uh, you know, it's very upfront with the hop, and it's the, uh, you know, I always say there's two sides to IPAs. I think sometimes they're well balanced and there's a blend of them, um, but this one is really that wet, wet, dry earth, grass, hoppiness to it. Really, really bitter. Hits you up front with the bitter and it stays with you at the end. So, you know, again, nothing wrong with that if that's what you're into. Me, I like the citrus side of things. Citrus side of hops. I believe this one's done with mosaic hops. Um, and that's what you get with these kinds. So, anyway, it's still 7.2% alcohol and it's still going to get 
drinking. <laughs> I'm still going to drink it. How about that? You know, and enjoy it. Um, probably wouldn't order it if I was out unless it was the only IPA they had there. So might pick something else. That's it. That's all I got for you. But who cares what I think? You try it yourself. Maybe you like these kinds of things. We should try as many beers as possible um, and hang out more like this because um, I obviously am nobody else. So let me know what you drank. Um, if you've tried this Melcher Street Indian Pale Ale, let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Um, and uh, that's it. Keep tuning in because I don't like to drink alone. Thanks for tuning in this time. Kimmel's Irish Pub.